Hey guys, A Rod here for another 360. Today we are at Ansira GMC Buick in Bernie, Texas. And what are we doing today? We're reviewing this beauty right here. Check it out the brand new GMC Sierra 1500 AT4 edition. It has a Duramax, it's amazing, so powerful, raced up. I'm excited to cover it inside and out. So don't go anywhere because we're going 360. <laughs> All right, well, let's get started. Right here, you guys. We're gonna go to the front, dead on, and check it out. You know, I think GMC has done a great job with this beautiful truck. I mean, it's straight on, it's massive, it's powerful. It's like coming almighty. And how can you go wrong with this amazing grill? This is a unique grill to the AT4 trim, okay? Just keep that in mind. You guys can see, this is uh, a good plastic, good material. It's not, you know, it's not shaking, it's not squeegee, it's not moving around. So I like that. They have a little rugged right here designed to it. So that's really, very neat. The GMC, I really like this a lot. It's still surrounded by a chrome, you know, trimming, but the GMC red part of it is matte. It's a matte red and it's beautiful. I like that. It's so smooth to the touch and I like it that it's not the old shiny kind. It's a beautiful matte finish. So let me get real close so you guys can see it, maybe in an angle. And that's really neat. I like that, you know, introduction to the brand. The grill is surrounded by this carbon color, you know, trim all the way around so that's neat you know not so shiny i like that too and then of course we get to the amazing headlights uh you guys see it shiny this way because obviously uh they're on right now so but it's still so cool to look at i hope you guys can see how amazing the three levels of leds are and it has this little awesome c shape to them and they light up really nicely at night and, and I think it's a really neat design too. I think GMC also killed it with this uh, front headlights. It's almost like making a statement that this is their this is their this is their look and they're sticking to it across the board, you know, in the trucks and also in the SUVs too. Here on the side you will see the Sierra logo uh, etched in. So that's nice, that's really neat. They've done that. And then of course at the bottom you got your fog lights as well surrounded by so nice carbon fiber carbon not carbon fiber just carbon color trimming around okay of course they're led for the fog lights where at the bottom we have a built-in bumper same color you know so this is the same color bumper here at the bottom and you got your tow hooks in beautiful red i mean check it out very nice, they stand out against the black finish at the bottom, really neat. So looking up from here, I mean, you guys can see this is a beast of a truck and it's not even the 2500. So you guys can only imagine a 2500, but for this one, it's so nice. You know, it's, a, it's, it's, it's like the perfect truck for daily driving, okay? When we speak about the hood, there's no vents or anything like that, but it still has nice edging to it. A nice design on top going all the way across a couple of strips of design so that's really neat it raises up it doesn't bulge up or anything like that like some trucks do this one keeps it nice and simple slim and then we get over here to the wheels check them out this is six dual spoke wheels now you can have all sorts of different sizes. It's a 20 inch right here on this one. And it has a, a nice touch of like regular, you know, aluminum and then a black finish on the sides of every one. So very neat. Calipers are in silver and a massive, massive, massive tire, you guys. 
kind of admire and see, ready to go anywhere, off-roading, basically that's what the 84 is for, off-roading, take it anywhere, out to the mountains, and no worries whatsoever, you can still see all the insides, I wish it was a little more covered, but that's fine, and we are talking about a, you know, an off-road vehicle, you know, 4x4, four four, take it anywhere, so it's okay, it's not covered at all, because I'm sure uh, it requires many different things to take it off-road. As we go up, you see the fender. The fender is not color uh, as well, it's not color co co uh, coated, I guess. Uh, this is beautiful. I like this, it's, it's a black plastic, but I like that the fender still stands out, you know, from the rest of the car because sometimes it is the same color and it's not even a fender anymore anymore it's still the same body panel so the body panel just comes down and bend over and then that's it but here they're actually gone out of way and still make the fender stand out and be different okay what do we have here is what this is all about the 84 is the carbon pro it has a carbon pro uh finish in the inside and it's the duramax turbo diesel so once we open the engine, you guys will know the power of this puppy right here. And this amazing engine right here that we are about to talk about and feature when we open the hood. What we have on the side, we have color, uh, a black colored uh, rear view mirrors. It's like a black plastic, so that's neat, uh, not white. Uh, and then of course you get some LED lights to light up on the side of the car. And here at the bottom, you get your cameras as well. You guys can see that there's a camera right here. So to give you a 360 when you are using the cameras building around the car. Right at the bottom, we get the 84 labeling. Beautiful. Body color uh, handles, so you guys can see. There's no trimming whatsoever on the windows, you know, like any like any chrome or uh, you know aluminum, nothing. Just keep it nice and simple because this is once again off-roading, so it's not so luxurious or too flashy. It's, it's keeping things more rugged, and that's what's cool about it. The running boards, as you guys can see, are coated, coated metal, beautiful, rugged. This thing is never gonna corrode or anything like that. It's almost like the bed of a track when you have it finished. This is the same material like that and it has a Sierra name on it too. Okay, etched right in. Mm -hmm. And of course it goes across from basically from wheel to wheel. As we go, step back, you guys can get a full profile of the vehicle. There it is. Beautiful stance, so powerful. And then we get to the bed. You can see. Very nice as well. Has this beautiful GMC labeling on top. Okay. The wheels on the back, of course. Same as the front. Okay, so here we are at the tailgate. So this is really neat, you guys. I mean, this has so many options, of course, with the uh, with the key fob. You guys can see here, you can op you can press double time and it will open the, the tailgate. But whatever, you know, that's that's just normal, no big deal. This one has the awesome stepping built in into the gate. So what you do is, is you have to press this button first and this white on one immediately, so it can open to the whole step ordeal so it goes, goes something like this press here press there and then it goes it opens itself into stepping option and what you do is you should come over here and you press this down and then you get the bottom step this beautiful truck has the what's called the kicker audio built in so you guys can see the speakers right here and then all the options for bluetooth and changing everything the tracks and audio and another speaker right here so how neat is that you know you're out you're out tailgating or you're out with your friends at the lake or whatever park anywhere you are and then of course you got some usb charging right there and some audio input as well if there's anything here 
because now there's nothing there. So, very neat. Coated also to step in so you're not sleeping anywhere. And then it looks like that. It's a cool step to go up into the bed. If you need a help with the handle, then this handle raises up. And there you go. You guys are good to go. You, all you do is just you pretty much step and grab and up you are. How neat is that, guys? So you then let go of it and then you come up again, come down again. And then to close it, you would think you want to close the centerpiece first, but they're telling me it's gets kind of heavy. So what you do is you just basically grab it from this end and push up to close the whole thing. Okay. Oh, but let me get the handle first. I don't want to have the handle has a little switch. You push it up and then you bring it down and it's going to fit right in. And that's the handle fitting right there on the whole bed. Okay. So now let's lift the gate up this section completely. It closes like that. And then you press the button to bring this step down. Okay. And then you close this top section and you're good to go. Beautiful view. I mean, check it out, guys. I and mean, this is a beautiful design. The back is clean, but it's, it's, it's modern. It's clean lines. They really hit the nail on the head. And I, I know I use that term a lot, but that's, that's what it's all about. That's what design is all about. Keeping it simple and clean, but still looking cool and modern. I mean, check out the cameras right here built into the handle. You know, the cameras that help you reverse and help you with the 360s and all that stuff. The beautiful GMC once again in matte red, so no longer shiny. Of course, the Sierra logo underneath it. Of course, the AT4, the beautiful finished rear bumper, also color, body color as well, and this beautiful white. The built-in step into the bumper as well. Very nice. And of course, the nice headlight, I mean tail lights with the Sierra etched in right there as well. I mean, you cannot go wrong. If you see it from this end, now there's the, the sun side. Three quarter look. Now, this has a two inch race, you guys. This is being the off-road. This is a two inch race, uh, buddy. So you almost can see everything in here. I mean, you guys can see if I go way in there, like it's amazing. You get to see almost from side to side, like everything that has to offer. All the struts, the suspensions, everything. All right, so you get a full profile from this end. And then let's go see, open the hood. And I mean, the interior is really cool too. So we'll come in here in a minute. Here we go, open the hood, close that up, walk ourselves to the hood here. We're gonna open the hood and it itself goes up beautiful. And what do we have? Check it out. What well, we have the Duramax turbo diesel engine i6 3.0 liter, guys. Awesome engine. What does that mean? It equals 277 horsepower at 3750 RPM. Amazing, really powerful for what it is. And it equals 460 pound feet of torque. So good numbers when it comes to that and those numbers equal good amount of like pulling and what i mean by pulling you can trail in the trailer you can put 8900 pounds of trailering so that's awesome you can pull anything you need you know for out for the weekend or for work you got yourself covered the maximum payload is 2200 about yeah 2200 pounds which is awesome too you can carry in the bed all you need all the motorcycles you know all the ponies you need to have a, a good time you're covered and as far as fuel economy well it's going to give you about 22 miles per gallon in the city and 26 miles per gallon in the highway which average of 24 miles per gallon um, so really good numbers it's a diesel and i like that that's why we get good numbers and it's an awesome engine that can pull a lot so i'm really really liking it a lot okay let's go see what the inside has to offer Okay, you guys, so we are inside the GMC 1500 Sierra. Uh, it's looking good. I'm excited. Uh, mostly because of the engine and things like that. The interior still looks a little the same for the past couple of years, but the little tweaks and updates they've done is really paying off. So let's step inside and see what we have to look at as far as the interior is concerned. 
So first things first, we got the dashboard right here. And obviously it's not leather or anything like that, but it's a sturdy material, very nice and soft still. You get a little storage compartment, a little built-in in here, so you can put, you know, whatever, uh, pens or things like that, uh, notepad, whatever you like, you can always put it in there. If you carry your little hamster with you, he can go in there as well. Um, it is a, this is a very small dashboard, you guys can see the, 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 the length of it, the width of it, as you say, is very slim. So I like that, it's because you saw, so you more move forward and you're closer to the hood to be looking outwards. The top of the cluster is also in this rugged material. They do offer the nice little stitching, as you guys can see. Uh, it's it's in, in this kind of like darker brown color. Uh, this is only unique for the AT4. Okay, let's remember that we inside the AT4, the off-road uh, version trim for the GMC uh, 1500 Sierra. Okay, uh, we get up to the front of the passenger side, and then what do we have? We have a compartment that opens up back, but it's so small, very small, very tiny. I don't know what else you, what could you put in there, because it is kind of small uh, to begin with. Um, then we close this up, then you get another compartment right here as well. Uh, a little more standard size okay then that brings us to the instrument panel uh, center console whatever we want to call it the, of course we know the LCD has been out for a while it's a little bit on the smaller size because you know everybody is so used to nowadays to something a little bit bigger uh, but it still works uh, you know that it is a beautiful truck and it still fits the truck just fine like I said, once again, hopefully next year, things change a little bit. It is touch sensitive, as you guys, of course, can imagine. So you got many different things. Of course, you got the GPS options to, you know, and it's so responsive. I haven't really been on a car that is so responsive when it comes to touch and, 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 and sensitivity. I mean, you can also do bird's eye view and pull in and out. I mean, it's beautiful and it's still very shiny and, and and a lot of you know bright colors and things like that so and uh, of course other than the GPS obviously then of course you got audio setup so you can set up for Sirius XM FM you know HD radio everything is right here all these options on top you can you know set yourself for you could ever want it's all right here for you when it comes to all the options and Bluetooth everything for audio then of course you can always go back to home and then from home uh, you got the options of all of this you got your phone set up it goes back to navigation you can set up the truck with wi-fi hotspot with onstar service users i think i mentioned this before in the tahoe of course you can set up different users you, you, you know your wife your kids can have their own uh, setup customization profile for them and what they like in stations and things like that it's all could be all set up for every individual person settings gives you so many options for trailering and stuff like that this is a neat one I, I was able to find a Tahoe the other day the teen driver is really neat uh, you can customize it right here and it's like to set up different speeds for the teen driver when he takes off and this is a code right here that you must set up for a particular teen that you let in the half the car and it's the same thing for valet mode Valet mode is a code you can set up just uh, just in the time that you need it it's not for forever or anything like that you enter your code and it will block things that you want only the valet mode to not have access to and i guess to protect your privacy and also keep tracks on what the valet driver will be doing with the car so all of that is some really good options you can have um, as far as all the options you have available with the lcd cameras you can obviously click cameras you see the reverse and as you guys can see reverse can help us and so when we back up it's going to help us you know reverse all the way around this one is a beautiful thing it has a 360 as you guys can see the door is open so let me close the door completely uh, so you guys can see this other uh, camera come up there we go so you get a 360 of the vehicle the cameras are building a 360 for you so you know your surroundings okay and then you also the cameras in the review mirrors help you look down to see what what is there just in case you don't know what's going on maybe a cat is crossing or something or you're about to run into drive over something that also helps you and then this is a option as far as like as you turn the wheels you know where you're going you can see the track showing you if your wheels are already straight or if you're gonna go right how much how 
how are the wheels moving amazing i love this feature it shows you so many things here too for the front you know if you're already straight or you're going to go left and right so crazy crazy also you can split the view you know what's going on in the front but you also you know what's going on in the rear this whole camera setup is amazing and it's, it's such a nice thing to have uh, i think also trailing trailer also right there when you have a trailer and you want to hook it up and how to you know align the trailer to the truck very cool amazing i love the whole camera ordeal you also have a camera all on top of the bed too so you know what's going on what's what you're carrying in the bed it's all there protective if it got uncovered or this or that you know so and of course you can look down straight onto the trailer hitch obviously the ball is not right there right now but when you have a trailer hitch you can have it right there and you can also be aligning the trailer to the hitch really cool the camera setup you know and, and this truck is, is just you cannot go wrong it's, it, it, i love the, the all the options that it offers you um as far as getting out let me see we press the home button right here and it gets us out of that uh okay so that's the lcd still very small to my taste but you know hopefully next year we get a bigger version uh, as far as the finishings beautiful you got this carbon like material very nice uh, it's so slick and soft and smooth as you say more so than soft they had a little trim right here you know like aluminum trimming or chrome trimming as you say more so and then as you come down you got your power buttons you still can control tracks with some buttons of the of the lcd uh, you got your home button here always to take you home and then of course you got the enter button and with this one you can also change and as you can see, it also it helps you out with choosing things in the screen. So you also get a tactical thing to also be choosing options in the screen. As you go down, we get to the control panel of the AC. And of course, the heating options you got. You got everything, of course, for driver's side. You get a little, you get a little thing right here telling you the temperature and all you need is obviously and it's a very nice. I like this aluminum finish to it and it lights up so nicely. So very, they did a beautiful job it's still not ru not rubber you get a little nice material to be turning the knob everything you need right here to turn off the ac you know up and down circulating the the system you get heated seats and you also get ventilated seats you guys so amazing a some summer hot day you can press this and it will cool you down and it's like oh it's, just, it's, it's really good if you're in texas in arizona or even in california on hot days this is nice and comfortable of course you get heated seats as well both on passenger and side here you get all the nice options in the beautiful buttons i like the way they have set them up in an angle for you to look at them you know they're facing you in a way you got lane assist you can also turn it off when you like you got parking assist as well and then this is the feature to also not let the engine turn off when you're like on a light or something like that if you want to not have that option going on and off all the time you can also turn it on and turn it off you can open the gate by pressing the button here the lift the gate the gate in the back you got your hazard controls you got traction control on and off and then also you got the turning these off the plugs the 120 plugs that are there's two of them one here and one in the in the back you can decide to turn it on and off if you don't want you know uh anybody using them or something like that it is heel assist heel down assist is this one as well okay then you get your cigarette lighter adapter and then you get USB chargers in here and all the, you know, trailering assist right here for the trailer. You got wireless charging, perfectly good size for the big phones that we have nowadays. Put your phone right there, you guys charging it immediately. Immediately, You got some storage right here for some pens, paper clips and things like that. You got a little, little trim, a little, like a little chrome trim around and another chrome trim around the two uh, cup holders very rugged materials very strong there's some pockets on the side as well if you want in them too uh, as you come up to the to the armrest uh, this is obviously all leather perforated leather in the center very nice then you got open it and you get a lot of storage a lot of space right here you got a little light as you guys can see lights up the insides um, then you got usb chargers right here usb c and usb regular usb regular usb c uh, you get a sd slot as well and an audio input so a lot of things once again and also this opening right here is awesome it's, it's big you can put like maybe two costco chickens right there and you're good to go so i like that you guys you know you know i love costco okay we get to the steering wheel 
Uh, it feels nice, it feels good, it's, it, it's, it, it is a little bit smaller on my, to my taste, I gotta be honest with you, I wish it was a little bit bigger for such a big truck, but you know, but it's fine, I think maybe sometimes uh, the smaller, the easier it is to maneuver the, the, the truck around. Um, the instrument cluster, as you guys can see, is still not a full-on LCD just yet, but I'm thinking by next year it probably will. Uh, you get all the options right there uh, to pick from and to see tachometer, speedometer, all of that stuff is, you know, showcased inside the instrument cluster. The steering wheel, so nice. The GMC is also in matte red as well. So the school, they're keeping up the same idea of the outside, they brought it in the inside. A little uh, aluminum touching, uh, touches, as you say. Uh, and then, of course, this, this also, once again, this like silver graph, graphite material. Very nice, high-end, stitched all the way around. The steering wheel with this uh, brown stitching. Of course, you get all these options to choose from. You get also these ones once again, is to if you want the car to let you know how close you get into the car in front of you, so when to uh, allow you to uh, give you a warning and help you out with that. So that's really neat. Heated steering wheel as well, so you can turn that up on cold days. Of course, voice control, phone options, and how to control the little screen in front of you with the little wheel here. So it gives you everything that you need up there. Okay, you get a plethora of more buttons on this end, and then of course your uh, everything you need uh, for lighting up. You can you have a lighting, you can light up the, the cargo area as well, so that's really neat. And of course all the you know headlights and options right here on the knob. Once again, they have brought out a little of the chrome trim here and stitching as well, so they've done a great job with that. So the door, the door is you know simple and basic. Uh, you got your big handle right here. You have some leather touches. You have the carbon fiber. This carbon fiber comes only with the AT4. So if you're looking for carbon fiber, it's not available in Denali right here. Uh, you got some nice little chrome finish on the trim over here. You power windows, you power locks. Of course, our setup right here. And you get set up, uh, memory setup, and also your power rear view mirrors. Way at the bottom, you get a small, kind of small map pocket and a couple of cup holders for you to put your cups in, bottle waters, and you get the Bose audio built in. So you can, you can see, you get the AT4 labeling in the stills right there, in the still, you get, as soon as you come in, you get the AT4 and the GMC also are right there as you come in. We have a handle right here also to grab on. And then we get to the sun visor. Then I like that, the, the lights dim up as you open them. So that's really neat. Uh, you get your microphone here as well for when you're having conversations through the system. The headliner is beautiful. It's nice and rugged, and, but it's still soft to the touch. It's like a good material. It's gonna last forever. You can open this up, you can slide it and awesome. You get the whole window cover for you. So very neat. I really appreciate that when you're driving north and the west sun is hitting your face. I appreciate that they went out of their way to make sure my face gets covered and not get burned. <laughs> okay, we come here to the top. Uh, all the regular options, you know, your reading lights and this and that. Your home link system to open the gate and, you know, turn on the lights of your, of your, of your house or open your garage. You can set that up for that. Uh, the lights obviously for on and off, everything you need for the for when you open the doors. Here is a little window that opens in the back, so you guys can see this little tiny window will open and close. So there's no sunroof on this one, even though it is an option. But if you want to talk to somebody in the back of the truck, you know, or pass yourself something or whatever it is, then you can always have that access to. So that's really neat. I like that tiny little window. And then you get your own star options as well. And you know, if you need whatever you need, some recommendations, restaurants, or this or that, press the OnStar button. If you're in trouble, if you're in a car crash, press the SOS and they help you out. So, uh, like I said, that's obviously that's membership. You get like three months for free at the beginning, but then you got afterwards, you got to pay the membership. Last but not least, here in the front, you guys can see this amazing, amazing, truly beautiful uh, rear view mirror. 
what you guys are looking at is a digital image that's literally the whole thing is a one full screen the camera in the back is always turned on and it's catching this live view for you I mean it's so clean so crisp and clear I mean it's, I think the it's even more crisp and clear than my own vision if I'll be looking myself looking back so I love that it's always on no matter if you're in reverse or not it's always on for you to see what's going on behind you it's HD so of course high definition and you just can see everything I think there is a one of the best um, review mirrors I've seen around I mean it's, it's truly beautiful okay then we get to the seats the seats real quick as I mentioned, this is the 84, so that's why it's says beautiful, uh, you know, stitched right there on the headrest. Very nice, they're rugged, beautiful, soft leather, perforated leather with the nice touches of brown all throughout, the brown stitching. Very nice, it's so sturdy, it's very strong. Uh, I like I like it a lot. I think it's, it's a leather that's gonna, you know, last forever. That's what it feels like, at least, okay? All right, so that's the front and let's go and step into the back and see what the back has to offer. All right, so let's go and step into the rear of the car, the rear passengers. I mean, ample room, you guys. I'm, you know, you know, I'm six foot one. I'm so far away from the headliner, not even touching whatsoever, not even near my head at all. So lots of space, lots of space with a leg room. I mean, check it out. This is really comfortable and I appreciate that for a truck, you know, it's like, wow, good. I want to feel like I have a space and, and we're all not all cramped up all together. Uh, you get some map, of course, packets behind the seats. And once again, pretty big to take care of you. Costco coupons, all right? And then of course here, you know what it is, Bed Bath & Beyond coupons go right here. So you guys are covered with both seats on that end. Here on the center, we got, uh, we don't have climate control, and then that's okay, but we do get heated seats. So amazing on a truck to have heated seats as well. It's very neat and you get that option here in the rear. You get your uh, cigarette lighter adapter and you get both the USB-C and regular USB, but you get your tiny little vents to still, you know, circulate some air back here. The thing itself also bends down to give you a lot more space for stepping in and moving your feet and all that stuff. So very neat. Okay, the seats themselves, of course, three passengers, beautiful leather. I love this dark leather with the little touches of brown all the way around. It feels rugged once again. You get a center armrest that you can bring down with some cup holders built in. So very neat. That's also uh, an option that you can choose. Uh, of course, everybody gets their own seat belt. As we step back, because I'm going to step back out and I'm going to show you guys how the, the seats fold and you can get more an idea of what things look like. Oh, wow. I was, this is actually a storage, actually. Let me open, show you guys. <laughs> You get a little storage right there by pulling out the center of the uh, backrest. So yeah, so then you get all that storage really neat in there. How cool is that? I, I had no idea really, it really <laughs> caught me by surprise and I liked it. I and mean, it's so like slick. It's so like, you don't even know it's there. It's almost like hidden storage. All right, so then as I step to the back, then also it does it here. So the same thing here as over there, but then you can also bring this up. As simple as that, you guys can get, my God, you can lay down here, take a nap. You get a little storage, you know, compartment to put things in here. So, I mean, look at all the space. Or if you're not gonna take a nap, you can also carry things in here. If you wanna carry things in the back and protect them from the rain or whatever, you definitely can put a lot of boxes here. You can carry your dog, I don't know. I mean, you can probably fit in like a little, like a little pony or something. You know, one of those tiny little dwarf ponies. Put them in here, you can go with you on the trip. All right, so then you can bring this down. Very simple, no handles or anything, pure pressure, and you're good to go for the passengers. All right, so that is the rear. Now let's go take a quick test drive and see how it feels. Okay, you guys, so, Let's take the 
GMC Sierra 1500 out to a drive. It takes the bumps like nothing else. You know, you almost don't even feel when you go over down oh, the, the, over the bumps. But okay, let's come out here. See how it feels on braking and throttle and all that stuff. We're doing some construction work right here, but let's see. Okay. All right, so first things first is the view out the windows. Uh, very nice. I don't see any issues, even like looking behind me and trying to look at my blind spots. Everything seems to be pretty clear. Uh, the rear mirrors outside, ample room. You will see a lot with the rear mirrors, to be honest. Of course, on both sides. But I gotta tell you, this review mirror here, it is so cool. My God, it's like I'm looking at a movie, but it's just the camera in the back showing me the feed live. Crystal clear, to say the least. <laughs> uh, it looks so cool. We're gonna try to see if we can jump on the freeway and by doing that we have to go around this curve so we're going to do a u-turn real quick but yeah so this review mirror amazing 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 there's no uh like reflection of anything or and it's so clear more than i think it works even better than a regular mirror because it's always on high definition okay so let's remember this is the AT4, so this is the off-road uh, trim of the Sierra. Meant to go into the you know hills and mountains, off-roading everywhere. Um, so it is raised two inches up. It's raised two inches, uh, of course, to have clearance of different obstacles that you're you know you're doing and you're driving through. Obviously, right now we don't have any hills or mountains to go take it to. We basically have a, a lot of a construction site and the highway. Um, we're gonna try to get on the highway here real quick. But so far, so good. It's, it's uh, this is the Duramax turbo diesel, you guys. This is such a powerful engine was in here right now, and my God, it's so quiet, you know. And that is so neat too, you know. Really neat. To not hear the engine like really on top of you or something like that it is so quiet it, it, but you can but at the same time you feel the power of it and we're about to get more sense of that as we finally get into the freeway here and be able to step on it and see how it takes off accordingly you know all right so let me get a better view of here there we go Wow, you almost don't think this is a diesel, you know? <laughs> it is also quiet in the cabin as well, you know? Back in the day, diesels were so loud, you know? And you could hear, yourself could hear, or anybody around you could hear that you were driving a diesel. But this thing has a lot of power, but it's still very quiet for what it is. Let me jump over here, change lanes. You know, and traction, superb, you know, I mean, there is no sense of obviously slipping or anything like that. It's the heavy, that the truck itself is very heavy and GMC is just killing it. I, I appreciate what GMC is doing a lot because it's giving American brands a lot more to look forward to. Uh, so you guys can see even the interior is so comfortable. It's not luxurious, luxurious, because we're not in a Denali, but it's still so nice, leather covered, you know, options with the LCD. Obviously, it's a little bit smaller than normal, but I'm sure by next year it'll be bigger. But aside from that, for what it is right now, 
It's a beautiful truck. I feel so high up. I have such a view, uh, sense of uh, view out the windows, very nice. I feel protected by the truck, obviously. And, and I'm sure taking it out four by four, you know, off-road, it would be an amazing truck. Let's remember it has all these options, you know, it has line assist, so it helps you stay on, on track while you're driving, it has parking assist, all these things that were like only connected to a luxurious car, you know, now part of a big truck like this. So it's like almost like a day-to-day -day driving, no problem uh, when it comes to driving such a truck. Let's gonna can only speed up so much because there's quite a bit of traffic right now. Um, it's gonna take the next exit. But I stand corrected that the steering wheel does feel smaller when you're, when you're standing still, but it fits right in when I'm driving and it's weird. I, when I was standing you know, in, in park, I felt, God, the steering wheel is so small compared to, the, to my surroundings. But, but then, now that I'm driving it, it feels quite good, you know? It fits in just fine, and it's so smooth to the touch. Not only the leather, but of course the steering of it. it, it they, 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 they've done a great job, you know? Once again, bringing so much technology, so much luxury into the trucks nowadays. That that's why they're so popular, you know? Even SUVs are so popular. You don't, you don't care much for uh, <laughs> cars anymore, regular sedans, because the trucks have so much food to offer nowadays. And pricing is, 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 is pretty good. Uh, speaking of pricing, this is about $64,000. So you could think to yourself, wow, $64,000, that's quite a bit of money. But I think you are getting your money's worth. You know, you're getting a hell of a truck with a hell of an engine, uh, uh, quite a bit of luxury inside and the latest technology all the way around. So it's really not that off uh, or off-putting, should I say, because, you know, it, it is, it's almost, you're getting your money's worth, especially with a GMC, you know, they, they don't mess around, it's a lot of quality uh, you're getting. Okay, so I stepped off the freeway and it's actually less people here. So we're gonna go and like that is so smooth i'm already over you know speeding up and you could even tell i was going that fast so that's really neat you have to you have to almost look down to see what speed you're going because this thing moves so fast so much power that it is amazing that is just crazy i had no idea i was going that fast you know to be honest with you i mean <laughs> I, I like it. I like it a lot to be sitting up so high. You get you get some sense of the hood in front of you. You don't you don't feel like it's a big old truck that you don't that you, you're not able to manage or anything like that. You know, if it it's good and your uh, and the sense of it all is not about braking. I mean, braking is good, right? The brakes has to be on to the T because you're stopping such a big truck and um, so you have no issues whatsoever when it comes to brakes. And, and I gotta say, everything as far as the AC works perfectly, you know, you feel nice and cool and all the options that it has, heated seats, cool down seats, heated steering wheel. I mean, the only thing missing is the sunroof. I think most of you guys know I love sunroof, especially panoramic roofs, but it's only missing in this particular vehicle right now because it is offered as an option. So most people don't think of like, that's what the salesman was telling me, most people don't think about sunroof and the panoramic roofs when, they, when they're when they thinking about off-road vehicle. But, you know, I, I think I would, you know, especially no matter what kind of vehicle it is, I, uh, I appreciate the fact of a sunroof and the light coming through and lighting up the whole cabin. And of course, for my passengers, they get to see, you know, the tea, the tea drop, the tea, the tree tops, uh, and of course the sky and all that stuff, the mountains and things like that. But that's the only thing missing for this particular vehicle. And without it, I still give it a two thumbs up. Uh, 
for when it comes to what's offered the inside and then what's offered of course on the exterior as well. So we're gonna do the U-turn right here, it's green and we're gonna feel the throttle and see how it takes off. Being that it's a truck, obviously it's not, the, the weight of it is not distribution, it's not 50-50, right? But at the same time, I don't feel like it's lagging in the back or anything like that. I mean, look at this. This is flying. I mean, beautiful. The power of this thing is just amazing. Amazing, you guys. I mean, it took off like a batter of hell. And I mean, do you really need anything else? This engine is enough. It's powerful enough. I don't think you could even, why would you want more horsepower? or any of that stuff because this right here is all you need i felt like i feel like i was flying when i stepped on the gas and once again i just cannot believe it's a diesel it's, it's so powerful and so quiet and it's so cool right like you almost feel like well let's think about um no longer gas because you know gas doesn't last as long that's what the whole thing of diesel is and with diesel engine you know it's less longer you're spending less money on gas so on diesel as you say so it's like nowadays it's so it's so advanced and quiet and everything so why not go for the diesel it lasts longer and less quieter and seems to be like the engine to go with i wish we had an lcd on the instrument cluster to show us all the options and things like that but that's fine once again this beautiful truck still very luxurious in there aside from the fact that it's missing the lcd they're doing a lot of construction work here you guys so there's a lot of traffic so you know i can only go so fast because <laughs> i gotta keep a, an eye on the, the speed limit and things like that but uh it is a beautiful truck it feels good to drive it i love that it's a diesel and it feels that way being a diesel so we're gonna head back now to the dealership and do final thoughts okay so we are done with the gmc sierra 1500 84 version okay the trim is 84 make sure you guys remember that because this is the one we did this time around and it was amazing i love the exterior you guys look at the, how rugged it is and the interior was very nice still hasn't caught up with the times with the lcd size and everything like that but it's still pretty good but what's most i guess beautiful and amazing about the truck is the engine the turbo diesel duramax engine is amazing so powerful so quiet and that was what gets this two thumbs up i want to say thank you to ansira gmc buick in bernie texas for allowing us to come into the lot and taking a look at this beautiful truck of course thank you to javier the salesperson and shane the sales managers for giving us the time to do so of course if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe we promise you we'll bring new videos that you also like as well and if you're already part of the team thank you so much for subscribing and continuing with us along the way thank you to my wife for doing all the camera work and make sure you let us know what you think in the comments and we'll see you next time as we continue going 360.